the work surface with the cryogenic environment I'm going to apply here. So in this case, how we are going to machine various units? Because I'm telling smart technology applying here the various methods, machine parameters. One is turning out and grinding out, and now I'm going to start this. 2015. So 2013, 14, the two years I was in uh, working with the uh, turning operations and get the research and results. And now I have to move into grinding operations with the uh, updated with the latest tool that is the novel wireless tool. The 14,000 you use very high speed machine. See the one. So like 40,000 RPM, it's very. Heavy. Ordinary, the stainless steel shock will be surface of 8000 RPM. I have to start it from the speed to speed. That means the speed is grinding, low speed is 8000, very high speed is 140,000. You can imagine how it is. So, that much of performance, it just touch the tool automatically, or touch the tool of work, it automatically go fast. Work is will get the fine surface finish. The motor of performance will be a surface experiment and high speed rotation. That's it. In this case, the stainless steel shock, the surface parallel, perpendicular, and parallel. So, in this case, how I achieve the two practicals also surface parallelly and perpendicular axis. If I use a parallel axis, how does the surface finish? If I use a perpendicular axis, how does the surface under cryogenic grinding load? So, that means cryogenic is using LN2 uh, liquid nitrogen for the cryogenic setup used to go. So, I can get it. I work on this uh, grinding in 2015. 17 and coming to 17 after two years, I have to apply the same titanium model with milling technology. How it is in this case, you see in this introduction number, I'm going to apply here one kind of thing that is WC and tungsten carbide tool, and then what is the next one? Is uh, yeah, diamond, yeah, polyester diamond tool. So this is the two tools I use. This is my setup. You see here setup. So the same one, the milling machine, with the help of inbuilt heating coil here, and with the workpiece getting the temperature, and then tools will be the insert two inserts of machining is there up there. So we are getting the data acquisition from this accelerometer and directly to the setup, and check the microstructures with the microscopic. So no need to bring the tool out. Automatically, the data will be connected to the system. System will be sent the, the information to the microscope. Microscope will be given the, the molecular structure, how it is the surface which Then immediately we can connect them with that. Based on this, this is one cycle loop. This is a small. I'm going to apply here the technology, this related technology. In this room temperature as well as heating condition. I'm beginning it seems I'm telling room temperature and the heating condition, but I have not applied for those technologies. These technologies to those operations are turning and as well as grinding operation. But milling operation, I have to apply these two conditions and increasing the temperature and to increase the cutting speed. In preheating zone, ending was increase the tool with both categories. That was my very important point. You see here room temperature as well as preheating condition for any milling. Help of unported teaching is giving best results for cutting increases. That is, increases also, of course, that is, increases temperature also increases in preheated zone. And end milling was increased to both temperatures. This is my setup. I will show you the original setup for that. And my experimental data. How we are going to do this is mainly research under this one. So, experimental setup, there are two categories I have to do. First is I do the process of the past six months, one year, room temperature conditions. And next, I did the preheating condition. If you do the room condition and preheating condition, you got two lines surface surface and cutting process. In both, and then once you use this operation condition, two lines you have to check surface surface and cutting, uh, cutting process. So one satisfies this parameter and you collect the data. And immediately, same procedure we apply in that preheating condition. Same two lines, surface surface and cutting and that two data we are going to collect it in the data collection and we have to develop the model. How the model will be surface roughness and missionability assessments and analysis discussions, conclusions that money. This is my line setup for the flow approach of this experimentation. So in this case, I'm going to use a platform 20 from diameter million tool folder. With fixed one, one side is the two inserts, one side is the 
tungsten, uncoated tungsten carbide, that is WCNCO, and polycrystal diamond that is PCB cutting through the diamond. The vibrations all attached to the uh, setup, vibrational data, all kind of Tool life was also measured based on a plant here. We see the one next. The next point is what? The machining surfaces also measured with the data tool lab, surface roughness, cutting forces, models that develop. That based on the models, we can check chip mod qualities where vibrations are proper or not in the support the machining assessment. And I'm going to introduce one model of here. I show you that the BMC uh, German technology one. Uh, it's a, it included the PDB. Uh, before how it is, uh, we have to externally additional preheating. But this machine is inbuilt preheating technology of your uh, holders, that means uh, workpiece holders. So this is using this heating machine frequency I'm using with the attachment they have frequency. We have here the cutting forces with the dynamometer and the four component. That one is the four component is displacement are measured without displacement rotating, four components are dynamometer one. Dynamometer was measured of cutting forces and torques on the rotating rotates to speed it and transmission of measured data by the VM. That's very important. We are now VM. To find the surface softness of using softness instrumentations, of course, these are all equipment. So here I'm using the fine accurate digital either see here. Uh, is the results in giving the fine accuracy display both the digitally as well as graphically? That's very important. So, our uh, webinar topic also is, is just digitalized using what kind of technology we are using smartphone. So, here I mentioned accuracy, digitalized graphical methods, both are simultaneously show. This is the one, uh, of course, SEM pictures also magnifies it. So, it will take to tell color with your camera. So, uh, so all German technologies are here using the one. And while I'm going to show the cutting tools, what kind of cutting tools I'm using here? One is WCCO, other one is PCB. So in this parameter, you see the CAD model I just mentioned. This one and the second one here. This is PCB. And uh, this is WCCO. So how it is? Of course, the thickness is the wide edges are similar here, and width is same, and corner radius is the same. You see the corner radius and width and thickness all are same looks of course wiper edge is not much more different and cutting here the very important is cutting edge effect is very less is very important 3.7 mm and the weight doesn't matter and but if you look around this WCCO in, in that is uncoated uh, one uncoated at tungsten carbide tool the cobalt on or two inches but this piece is only one inch is the cutting edge so if you use it it's a, for the forward direction only they got an image in this uh, PCB, but, uh, but this is both template. And one coming to the one measuring equipment, what kind of measuring equipment, microscope, uh, microscope, and diameter, surface softness tester, these are all I'm going to use here. Of course, these are all if you click in German technology, one the model and automatic integrated specification, that's not a matter. And you see this one, experimental setup. Dr. Jay, can you hear me? Yes, sir, we are able to hear you, sir. Yeah, okay, right. So just look. All right. In this experimental setup, they got preheating equipment. You see this preheating equipment. I have to show one kind of setup, the external setup. This is external setup, induction heating system. They got water coils here. See the one with the cooling unit here and this temperature will come. You see this part, the temperature will come, whatever inside the material. You see the material high frequency induction heat is of material, but it's not melting. Surrounding temperature distribution and automatically the preheat is called high frequency induction machines. This technology I am going to implement it here to the oil. You see the oil here. Okay, okay, that one I'll read later. So this system is machine heat induction system using this model. So I'm going to introduce preheating technology with the help of this. Induction system, heating system, water cooling method, and this is my temperature control setup. You see the current temperature feed rate relationship. How it is? This is my metal board. This metal board, they got to attach the heating coils here. 
and they got thermo couple and two holder single holder here one one insert is the pcd other insert is the device that is unported carbide tungsten carbide gold cobalt and once you can get it fixed already then you do the machine with help of this temperature this whole work piece you can get the preheated zone once you get the preheated zone they got temperature controller the temperature control automatically disconnect the temperature the heating coils so in this case circuit of us tested and predictive model there in this way but we have to maintain the distance at least 5 mm away from the work piece the coil you cannot test the coil to the work piece right and the sensor side and also one more thing we had to check the setup before uh, this tool holder how it did not disturbing to our setup all this time once we have to start one way and automatically uh, the D, the data acquisition center with data acquisition will be take all the measurements right the instrument measures two components one is the cutting force of the transistor and predictive model is the one and and in this way I mentioned the one development of the models for two labs are based on the cutting force to investigate it. So why I mentioned here chapter four something new. This is different kind of four. You see the point four and this one. They got predictive models. In this chapter, I am going to find out the predictive model. I am going to divide it chapter one, machining chapter one, chapter two is introduced to two and chapter three is the. Uh, uh, experiment at the shop. The four. I am going to develop the model how the circuit of the circuit is this. In this case, you see, I am going to add one kind of design expert version software used to analyze and optimize. You see here, once you do the machining operation, how you are going to check the microstructure and CM features that is supporting to this software. This is adequate to model to verify using an analysis of variance of the system. AO we did this an expert software was used to analyze and optimization so this is the development predictive model how we are going to check for that and in this case i am going to start up high levels what kind of high levels is lowest low center high highest for example center make it zero right and low is minus 1 lowest is minus 1.5 And high is one, highest is less one point five. So you can make it. This is your assumptions only. So in this case, how you are going to run? Show the table of how I can get in the coding so on. So based on this design expert uh, one, so we are getting. This is my assumptions only. Center I am giving zero. So when I feed the one, the composite uh, central design will come. The index variable the one center permanent it shows zero. And if it low means it goes. Left side, the highest goes to right side. The machining. In order to get overlapping information, the one the cutting speed, the lowest cutting speed is 80. The highest cutting speed, the lower than the highest cutting speed, 160 meters per minute. Using PCB, please make sure this one is overlapping or the lowest cutting speed. And the benefits of preheating can be informed clearly. So in this experimental data of two labs, surface that's the cutting force and inserts to temperature. I show the table to our team and everything that is done at the first level. And this one, machining under preheating conditions. So that is in room temperature and how the machine the actual depth of kept constant one. And the reason is behind selecting the constant like the equipment preheating is the actual depth of cut influences the resultant cutting force and to room temperature. This is present various as previous session. The code. How you are going to generate? I mentioned how the coding is. If you are going to give the specific uh, assumption zero, minus one, minus one and uh, one point five, and zero, one and uh, one point five. So highest is one point five. My assumption. So you can keep constant one only. That means what? Same high. You can start up your work with the high. The reason I explained already. Right, and then coding identification independently variable. The experimental data, the two lab surface is resulting cutting force, and ECD results under preheating conditions of present. How the present I show you here. So we are going to use I told you in the design expert. How the design expert will show the one cutting speed, axial depth, and preheating condition, giving the range of talent. So, so at the time the speed, speed, depth of cut, and the morphology, all the ranges. 
it you one shot of results of the design expert version and going on in this case, in the in this case how the optimized tool like surface surface the surface surface how the optimized this one the data of tool lab on surface surface and mini uncoated uh, the constant for the tool as well as ecg and the room temperature pre-heating conditions are generated in the software so automatically the software generated possible operation that suggests the value of desirable that means uh, the closer to value to one is better than the optimization value. that is what if you are going to previous where I mentioned, if you start up the center in between center to high the machining parameter here, so it will show the better result. So I show you my 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 experimentation. The results possible the end milling cutter temperature of this. So you see here how the percentage the results are cutting forces. I mentioned already two kind of parameters I'm mean, using preheating condition that is one and room temperature condition. Of course, here the Ethiopia the, the temperature is uh, the, it start up with the minus 18 degrees centigrade. The normal room temperature 18 to 25. I'm taking the 25 temperature and the preheating condition. Of course, you know already with help of aid of source of PPT. So in the 25 hour in here is the minimum. I think uh, 28 or 28, uh, 29, 30. So, but here as per this, the room temperature, I just follow the 25 degrees. The increase in the cutting parameter, increase the of life of both uh, cutting uh, 73 watts. And while coming to preheating technology, I follow the temperature between 450 degrees and 650 degrees. Of course, you have to vary the 450, 451, 470, 480, 600, whatever. But you have to check the morphology is perfect or not the one. And increasing preheating temperature, substitutional increasing the two lights with the constant with 0 0.88 meter. That is one cost actual depth of cut of one and a half. Yes, I show you my speeds of preheating of two light and if you observe here the clear picture. So whatever the thing is, I'm going to show the output here. First one is uncoated WC2 tool and PCD tool. If I use the temperature, this one room temperature with the one, how it is. If I use a preheating condition, how it is. If I use this PCD room temperature, how it is, and preheating how it is. That means what? Tool like this, room temperature, tool like this, is automatically gradually. And here, some more down, we can get tool like more. So that means what? Here, the minute is much of, but here, you can get fine mesh this much of minute tool like meter per minute, you can get it. That means what? Cutting speed is the temperature only within less. To life, we can get fine fish. But if room temperature, if you need more than 127.5, only you can reach the same temperature. Everyone, the spectators got the, uh, my, my idea how it is. And similarly, PCD also, you see here, the tool life is uh, increasing 43 quantity under room temperature. But coming to preheating conditions, are the 450 degrees centigrade and 60 degrees, and how it is. If the temperature is increasing beyond, some of tool life is increasing. So, if, of course, uh, we are not giving um, the effect to the tool, but it is balancing both uh, what is the room temperature inside the bullet. The effect of preheating temperature of tool has improvement end of milling. So if end milling, this is preheating, this is cutting speed, this is speed. So cutting speed like this. Now coming to preheating condition, how it is. The preheating condition, you see here. 315 temperature, 450 temperature, 650 temperature, automatic two life is improvement, 300% is there, almost 270 percent is increased. But I have to concentrate from 450 to 650 only. It's just sample only 315 degrees centigrade. But coming to 450 degrees centigrade to 650 degrees centigrade, you see here for the starting point of preheating that I mentioned already, you know, previously preheating machine is 450 to 650. So what coming to the next feature 450 to 650, I have to start the minimum and maximum. My God, the tool life is even more than more than 250 percent of tool life improvement. And similarly, preheating temperature here, you see the PCB. Of course, if the automatically this one is increasing, we also increase. You see the one or more, more than 150 percent increase. Now coming to the effect of feed. In the feed also, you see the one tool life. How it is? You see the uh, mm per tool. 0.0 mm per tooth, it, it automatically you can get less 
one uh, two like with more of one, and then here zero. So similarly here there were PCD also. So all right. So this is the free and coming to the term amplitude, the frequency. If the room temperature of 25 degrees, how the frequency of that uh, my amplitude and 315, how the frequency preheating 450 and 650 degrees you can see the frequencies. If the temperature increases, you see the amplitude frequency or very less. That means what what you know? The meaning is in the material is very softer. If the material is softer, the tool is one stroke you can finish the material without the any amplitude. That means the frequency. So that is really of course if you more than that increasing what happens you see the time with the tool if room temperature how the tool is uncoated tool how and if preheating temperature see the one no damage the tool is perfect but only the temperature distribution see the one zone creating temperature zone. and similarly but this is PCD this is a PCD polyester diamond so nothing will be affected but here see the one and the room temperature means there is no any kind of uh, soft, the, soft, the material, the work piece is not soft, very really hard and so how can we shape. So this is the difference of one tool of the NMIL with the amplitudes. So guys, I, I hope you understand with the temperature how you have to maintain the increasing tool like And next coming to the type of a chip uncoated WC, you see here room temperature with 25 degrees centigrade. 450 and 650. If the room temperature normal is 25 degrees, how the chip difference is between here? The flex. The speed in the one 72, 70 meters. And the speed and depth of cut, the action, the axis of jet axis, how is it? The ratio. Almost 1.69, but here is a, it's a more than 2.35. And it's almost a temperature test which is 1.11 so my problem. So that means preheating up to 450 to 650, I have to recommend that. But I know I didn't test my research on more than 650. Uh, maybe in future that's my want to filter. But well, let me see that the filter pages how we preheating. I see if you see the one filter pages of the NMLE tool, how it formed the filter page. And similarly, 450 degrees, how it is. So, temperature increases, <laughs> they got small, 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 it, it, it will be very. So, in the SC pictures, machine surface, this is tool, is coming to machine surface of n millimeter. How the chip right max? With room temperature, how the preheating temperature, maximum temperature is. The one chip right max, how we see the one? Small, small, small one, but here is the flakes like the bigger, here is the small, small one. The, the one. And the cutting force assessment, how uh, you are going to the model will be the increasing speed of temperature, preheating conditions. Preheating conditions of junior reduce the cutting force during cutting. This is attributed to drop the yield strength of the work set piece of material during the preheating and maybe which will reduce the shear stresses and this contributed to lower the cutting forces. And models also is reveal the condition both room temperature and the you see the another model. The effect of cutting speed, the one result of force and one is a uh, W uncoated WC and this is PC. And I, I have to show with cutting speed as a cutting force and cutting force versus feed. So feed and cutting speed depth you can absorb here how it is. The room temperature zone is 36 and preheating 331. There is no much more value. That means what? That is what WC is. Uh, before it's simply not very expensive. This is using for the lower, uh, medium, and lower machining of which parameters. And coming to here, 281 and 331, the feed, of course, feed is increasing here, the cutting force. And coming to, that is cutting, uh, cutting, coming to the feed point of the tool, like implement the end with its feed. You see cutting forces with PCD material. How very the one inch and two inch the one piece. and similarly here the one with the preheating zone is five thirty four point four four ninety one. So in this based on this evaluation, I show you that uh, same chip tool contact length, how the length 
see this is a one with uh, the before initial one with my micron and I'm already spoiled. So up to here. And up to two ten is spoiled with three here. This is total. Have got but molecular structure if you want to this in here is two one ten micro and also here the preheating is four fifty and six fifty how see that one. The two chip contact lens. This is chip contact lens and a PCD similar. Two seven four. So comparing to that uh, WCC wood to come pre PCD is two eighty and two seventy four. The maximum. The minimum is one eighty five to one. So my discussions are here in the two life wise surface of mass wise and cutting forces and optimum parameters. So when that the two life model, this is mainly which is uncoated in that and the room temperature condition is indicated the primary factor in places two life where cutting speed, speed, depth of cut, increasing in the cutting parameter in terms of the ratio. Two life. That is a two life model. And then the discussion of surface of the small and increasing the speed, cutting speed, and angle depth of cut leads to increase the field. So in my experimentation in the research, if you increase the field and depth of an automatic surface of this also increasing. And cutting force models are results where enemy both WC2 and PCD and increasing angle depth of cut, increasing cutting force wireless, increasing cutting speed and decreasing the cutting forces. So here only you have to observe it. Increasing the cutting speed. And the last point is optimum cut, optimum, uh, how optimization, optimum cutting parameters is 39 meter per minute. So found that I found that the speed is 39 per minute is found to with the optimum cutting speed of 10 minutes with the unquoted room temperature. See, guys, why I'm doing my explanation of this one? So finally, our our cutting parameters using the speed is 39 meter per minute is found. So after you can do all this kind of First, some of the tables I am hiding here this is uh, our ongoing research with this, uh, uh, my present uh, university, uh, or my present university funding proposal. So I am just giving the tips on this uh, optimum parameter setting. Of course, using the software or uh, design expert, how the values obtained, it will be. Uh, I, I will email to you when you want more questions on it. I will tell you how we can get. But based on this discussion, we can get 39 per meter per minute. And then my conclusions. You see my conclusion here. Induction coil heating has a substantially proved as a preheating method. Of course, you see there how the two lab both are unquoted and WCO and PCD meters. For the two the two lag is uncoated. WCCO is best and the preheating machine was higher compared to PCD inserts and the room temperature condition. It gives substantial benefits since the piece. So the price of PCD inserts almost 12 times. See, in this 12 times measure, you can compare how many how many uh, machine uh, parameters you can use to done this one. And more expensive compared to the unquoted one. Of course, this is polyester diamond is very expensive compared to the other one. So that two inserts, the two uh, edges, and here only one edge, you can imagine how the machine over there. And it may be concluded that cutting uh, the induction coil heating has been established one of the suitable methods for enhancing the tool life during any medium of that So most of the, you see, the aircraft guard, uh, aircraft industry, the problem with the combustion chamber sound. So, once, similarly, our bike or sometimes like a ray boring or something like that, but that, that is different because the combustion chamber is, is uh, made by titanium alloys. So, in this titanium, so after, after that means some, uh, yes, some. Stage automatically, what happens? The gas chamber, the combustion chamber, they removed from the air or air aerospace that is aeroplanes or uh, combustion chamber. In this aerodrome, we are going to remove that combustion chamber, it's very expensive, so they cannot. So, they want to reuse the combustion chambers nowadays. 
most research on that combustion chamber because very expensive the material you cannot throw away and cannot melt again. So they want to do the recycling, remissioning something there, ongoing experiment, especially for aeronautical is very important for this uh, kind of research. So in this way, I just recommend that if you use the combination of two tools of this uncoated carbon uh, tungsten uh, tool and the second one is the PCD polyester tool. The both combination we do the machining with the I give the 39 millimeter unique of cutting food variation of parameters and you can get a good improvement. But I'm I'm not sure whether you can change the parameters of the combustion chamber can whether use or not. That should be no over the, the aeronautical engineers. But what as a mechanical engineers we have to do the work. We have to reuse the combustion chamber with the minimum parameters with the minimum inputs with the less expensive, less expensive, so we can get it the uh, original format back to the combustion chamber. That's my intention to do this kind of research. And hence, it means that, that I mentioned already. Moreover, induction coil heating and also food enhancing the volume of metal removal unit n millimeter of titanium is uncoated and WCO and this. Of course, I want to say before it's in my pocket with them. It is I have to done grade two material, not in grade five material. In the beginning, I mentioned already, guys, that the uh, turning operation and grinding operation I have to done uh, grade two material and grade five material. But here, my process has started 2007. It take more time just to uh, for turning and grinding. I done two years, two years finishing my my my. my. I use all this one, but in this million, I have to start with the uh, only the grade two material because I didn't get proper results and compare why because I'm using two kind of technology. One is uh, room temperature, other one speed tuning. The preheating conditions is how it should be giving the more results. Now I got it. That's what I mentioned, including heating oil. And most of the scientists are not recommended this time. Why? Because if you use the preheating technology, what? The material status. Of course, that is what we are going to do. see. The my my first beginning the my setup. Yeah, sorry. Now you see here. Once we have to done uh, using heating coil with help of heating coil. So without change any microstructure. If microstructure changing automatically, we have to disconnect the uh, temperature. So we have to follow that microstructures, uh, the molecular, you just make to rise up. That's it. Just that wake up. That's it. So in this wake up, with the wake up call, the one cannot change, cannot destroy, cannot disturb the structure. Only the micro elements we can change. Then if it is the molecular structure, anything change automatically, you can get to the data equation, show the microstructure. So you are work piece. The structure is changed. So once the micro workpiece structure change, that's all your research will be not worth it. So that you cannot see the one here I mentioned the sample. You have to maintain this one without disturbing the molecular. Then you have to start. So that's very important here. So in this case, in here, yeah. So in this uh, induction coil using this one also proved. To enhance the value of metal volume, so just how much the temperature? Of course, you know what is the temp melting temperature is amazing, but it's 450, 650. It is not a matter. It's not affecting any kind of any, anything on material. It's not aluminum. It's uh, titanium. So titanium is withstand more temperature, so that we can do many research on this with the optimum condition. That's my recommendation to whoever do the future work. Uh, and the, my second point of conclusion is that workpiece heating injection coil has contributed to lower the cutting force and uh, suppress in vibrations uh, during any minute given work low cutting speeds and suppress are all attributed to the enhanced two life during machine. That means what? While you are going to do the induction coil system, you have to check proper temperature. I am started with the temperature is 450 degrees. You can see here 450 degrees. Yeah, 650. It's up to you. But you have to find out the 
optimal parameters how the work. So using this minimum and maximum, I can get the cutting speed 39 meters per minute can find the correct enough. Maybe maybe in future generation phase, the one future work, you can you can play with the 500 and 550 something like that. How we can get it? So compare with that one and you, you check the model. You see the one? I model a real, you check the model, how it is. The models are good, then your your, your software is very good. So in this one and also chip model models is also very important, the tool how it is of the material. So that, that that was my conclusion in this one. And coming to the money related publication, past 2014 and I have to collaborate with some professors in India, so I am doing research in Harvard. So in Malaysia and Oman, it was a past 2006. Uh, I, I was in Malaysia, I started with uh, this experiment with Professor V.T. Venkatesh. He was in a uh, university in Malaya, uh, in Malaysia. So he only knew this kind of, kind of concept to machining of uh, uh, titanium analyzer. So after referring, so I started the publication since 2014, but I started that this kind of uh, I mean, uh, the gathering this kind of research on 2012 literature review and 2013. I was started and the turning operation how we saw. And uh, luckily I got it in 2014. I got some good uh, op optimized uh, to publish uh, that taking uh, journal in the one. That is a missionable improvement in turning of titanium oil as a grade two using cobalt or cubic boron nitrate cutting tools. That is grade two material. And uh, after that, and then parameters, how the changing, uh, maybe some inserts change, how it is. Then automatically, the professor says the one really this parameter of seeing the turning inserts of commissioning. That's also one of the innovations. I got a good results that was in 2014. And uh, no, uh, and also then I moved to turning operation to milling operation, sorry, grinding operation. How this same activity, same parameters will do the machining of grinding? Of course, some uh, armchair is you know now the uh, new generation, new researchers. If they stick one parameter, one uh, one operation, they stick over there. Or no, they have to become with various technologies, the smart technology, after the smart machining operations with this the different kind of uh, softwares to do that the analysis. So that same part I did. So after cutting, why don't I have to use this parameter, some machining parameter, machining the titanium grinding. So why I mentioned, for example, in aeronautical, if the combustion chamber is a deadly spoil, means we have to take one operation, that is a uh, turning operation. If it is, Moderately okay, then we can go for minimum operation. If this is very small, minor damage, this minor operation need to get a good performance, a good performance need. better to go grinding operation. So that I have to run various operations on grinding titanium oil. In this 2015, I have to move on grinding with the normal boneless diamond grinding. I have to uh, this one kind of uh, tool. So just I do the one review. So I have to gather the information and write a review paper on this. No one born grinding in how it is done. And after the 2009, using the, the novel bondless tool, because the bondless tool, the, the novel bondless tool is very, very highly expensive. It's more like one, you know, the piece of chalk. Our, our golden days, we are using the chalk piece on the board. The piece of chalk like that. So it's very expensive. So if it is damaged, the ones are totally the word, the word, the, word, the, the research is gone. So that is what the, my professors would recommend that we have to use some, uh, or is it not dry, it's a cryogenic like wet. So then I environment, so cryogenic environment and created that is element to liquid nitrogen, general, uh, or is it, uh, where uh, environment, cooling environment, I have to start at this one. So I got a better results on this grinding uh, uh, operation than so published it. One more right in uh, uh, Hong Kong. I had to present. I've been Hong Kong and present my views there. The Hong Kong people will do the uh, patents on this to do the work on this one. But unfortunately, the China and uh, some issues are going on. 
say how to adjust the hold on that research now. And that is a grinding operation. Now I don't stop here the research and I have to start up this one to add until again to go move to in milling operation. That was my present now I am doing. So 2019 also I had to publish I have some cryogenic environment papers I just published. And the comparison, of course, uh, you cannot say this is good, that is, but you have to show comparison wise which one is the best also I have to publish. So still my research from 2013 to almost six years. So now I do the experimental validations with the two lab assessment preheating parameter. Guys, I'm just giving the open uh, offer to you. So whoever interested this one, please uh, begin starting email. I just give you my, uh, I mentioned my email. You may come with the startup and the these two, uh, two lab parameters and machining of uh, titanium ions. So definitely we will share this one to uh, what is that international wise. So these are all papers I, I presented and published. Uh, not in Geneva, of course, I'm from India. I'm just sharing the one with Vietnam, Malaysia, Hong Kong, and uh, I went to Bangkok presentation and uh, uh, Sri Lanka. So various, so almost 15 countries I been with Ethiopia and the first step. So I presented and shared this kind of our research. So getting a uh, good uh, results on it. So that was my presentation, my views in this uh, item. Thank you. In the chat box sir, by Mr. Uh, Unnati Yadav. Now he's just asking, sir, is manufacturing and production is same or different? Yeah, it's, it's similar but uh, different. Manufacturing is what you know, you are going to do on contract, applying that uh, proper, uh, what is that, uh, materials or something. But production means after you successfully done, you make number of components. For example, any kind of thing in manufacturing, uh, like a nut and bolt something. So what you do, you have to use that uh, operations. That operations is nothing but manufacturing techniques. And once you make you success that they're making that uh, nuts and bolts or whatever the output out component, that you make a large number of uh, volumes, that's what production. So one more doubt from uh, Uma Maheshwar Rao Punugoti. Uh, he's asking that, uh, sir, what is the research scope? on this allies yeah as a mechanical engineer you got an opportunity in that uh, rocket and uh, uh, space centers so on aeronautical uh, aero uh, aeronautical spine also you can use this kind of uh, uh, what is that research it will carry to your other streams also as a mechanical engineer we have to do automobile or something but at this area we can take you in the, the aeronautical uh, area also that's my strongly I, I strongly I have, I believe that. So still research uh, scopes means, of course, still they're facing the problems of uh, the combustion chambers. As I, I reviewed uh, many papers as well, so still they're looking for the optimum parameters, how it could be. So definitely we have to got uh, a good research scopes. And and also many, many grades is available. And I'm taking just grade two and grade five material. Have plenty of grades in titanium. You may proceed, so you can get the best, the best, the best, and better results uh, compared to other publications and other researchers. So the the, the the next they will going to go you after your views uh, and getting the more best results. But that so outcomes is very important on this uh, titanium model. So it's still there, no worries on it. Yeah. Thank you, sir.